Hi, everybody. I'm Dave Sims, Mariner Broadcaster. And as we celebrate Jackie Robinson Day, we want to bring to you a very accomplished young lady, the Mariner's representative in the Jackie Robinson Foundation Scholarship, which was begun back in 1973 by Mrs. Rachel Robinson uh, to honor her late great uh, husband and, and one of my heroes, Jackie Robinson. Uh, Favor OG joins us right now, University of Washington. And I'm telling you, this young lady has accomplished great things in her four years at the UW. <laughs> Favor, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, can you tell us, first of all, you know, what did you learn about Jackie Robinson and what is, he, what is his legacy and what his life, what does it mean for you? Yeah, absolutely. Um, hi, everyone. I'm happy to be here. Um, I think for me, Jackie Robinson's legacy is that of um, courage, integrity, um, citizenship, commitment, and excellence. And um, having read about him, um, learned about him throughout um, high school and middle school, I, I, um, for me, it was, this was uh, sort of an individual that I could look up to, and um, especially as a scholar who's um, first generation, um, the first in my family to, uh, in my media family to go to college, the oldest daughter, um, in a very much, um, uh, in a fairly decently sized, um, family. This was an individual that I could sort of, um, sort of like look onto and, and someone who'd accomplished great, um, great things with, um, not so, well, not the best of circumstances. And so yeah. Jackie Robinson to me is, um, is being able to, to, to continue to push for excellence um, in it, regardless and in the face of adversity. So. Yeah, well, that, that's, that is well said. And uh, can you give us an idea of, uh, you know, you started this a few years ago you know, as a freshman, the foundation, what has it done for you? The foundation has done uh, numerous things for me. I think if anything, just helping build my confidence in myself. Um, just, I can picture myself like freshman year, um, shy college student going into her first year wasn't really sure like did I necessarily belong in this space um especially as I go to the University of Washington um one of the top universities in the world which happens to be a predominantly white institution um so being able to go to the mentorship and leadership conference every year being surrounded by fellow scholars um individuals um that we're striving for excellence being in that space in that room not only did it solidify my um uh, my belief in myself that hey like i can do this it was also being in that room and seeing so much excellence and seeing individuals that looked like me um with similar backgrounds first generation um immigrant students whatever it may be and them also like striving for excellence for me it was like favorite like these are individuals that are doing it and i I sort of like fed off of that and um, just kept on going. Yeah, and then you yeah. excelled too. I, I was very impressed with reading about your, your major bioengineering and the double major, bioengineering and sociology. That's an interesting pairing. How did you come to that, uh, to that road? Yes, yeah, so uh, my dual degree is bioengineering and sociology. And um, it, it just, it sort of came about in the way that it, it, it came. Um, I personally love STEM, science, technology, engineering, math. And I, at the same time, I still wanted to be able to be engaged in conversations that were crucial to understanding how society function, how, um, how we're sort of impacted by the society that we live in. And for someone that, um, that loved STEM and, and, um, and biomedical research, whatever it may be, I also wanted to be conscientious of um, the spaces that I might be entering. Um, not only that, but also the impact of the work that I could be doing would have on those um, different communities. And so for me, it was, it was sort of like a perfect pairing um, and, uh, and also just helping me be more aware as well so i i i really enjoyed it and so right now we're just going That's awesome. that is absolutely tremendous uh you know it was really, with the pandemic and everything obviously you didn't get a chance to have your graduation ceremony which is an absolute shame but what, what did you what did you do in lieu of uh not having the, the regular you know the traditional uh graduation ceremony 
Yes. So I am in the unique space. I'm doing a fifth year in order to complete both my dual degree. Um, And so I I was in a unique space in the sense that I was sort of in a space where my some of my really good friends and a lot handful of my fellow peers from the Jackie Robinson Foundation were graduating. So I was elated for them. But at the same time, it was the space that you like you had talked about where um, yes, you've accomplished this huge thing, but at the same time, um, not necessarily having that, ex- that symbolic experience. And I know that for me, like, ha- hopefully I do get to walk on this year, literally. Um, but if I didn't necessarily have that experience, I would be devastated just because, um, it's symbolic in that the, for X, the X amount of years that I've worked hard on, um, attaining this degree is, having family having friends having the people that i yeah. love being in that space and just sharing that moment with me um where they might not have been able to share share the process of getting there but um right. being in that space that, that, that's a great answer uh in, in a perfect world you know with your your dual degrees what is it that you would like to do with your career Ooh, that's a great question. I am definitely in a space where I'm thinking about that. Um, definitely debating between uh, pursuing a going into biomedical research. I've looked at also like business, nonprofit work. Um, I'm affiliated with um, Righteousness and Doran Zion, which is a great um, nonprofit that's doing great work in terms of um, providing housing for um for release inmates and they're really doing a lot of um, nonprofit work. And so I've looked into the nonprofit sector. So right now it's, it's a little up in the air, but I would um, really hone down on either um, by continuing in the biomedical field and being able to apply a lot of the things that I've, I've learned the past few years and we're pivoting and going into business and or uh, nonprofit work. I think that, your personality and your skill set will be in very much in demand. And, and I, I like your chances and we look forward to uh, following your, your career. Uh, in, the, in, the, in the meantime, before all of that happens, uh, how are you, you know, what are you doing with your time before you, you, know, you really get back into that grind? Ooh, yes, that is a great, great question. Um, I can tell you what I had sort of planned and pictured, you know, it included traveling, um, just really getting out of Seattle a little bit and just being with family and, um, and friends and just like visiting some of my peers and, and things like that. But um, these days it's a little, uh, it's a new normal, right? Yeah. And so a lot of that has been just making time for family and friends that are local and just like really being, allowing myself to be a tourist, so to speak, in my own city. Uh-huh. And so, <laughs> um, really exploring aspects and um different parts of Seattle and uh, just allowing myself to really breathe and reflect a little bit more because uh, for the past few years, I've really just been grinding and really going, it's like school, work, and (laughs) not necessarily a lot of time to reflect. And so I've been taking time to do that while also spending time with loved ones. You feel it. It's nice to come out into the light, right? After. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) Good for you. Well, good for you. Hey, congratulations. And I think that it's what you've done is outstanding. And the fact that Mrs. Robinson and the Jackie Robinson Foundation and the Mariners and Major League Baseball, they've all recognized you and you've, you've more than fulfilled the promise. Uh, I, I couldn't be happier for you. And I wish you all the best. And uh, hopefully uh, we'll be able to stay in touch on all the best to you. Yes, thank you so much. Um, this has definitely been an amazing experience. and. Um, to be part of the Jackie Robinson Scott, um, Foundation, to be provided with support, mentorship, um, to be surround, to know um, scholars all around the world has been a, an amazing experience. So thank you, MLB, for um, really um, allowing me to have this um, this opportunity to connect and um, and grow. Like I said, freshman year favor would not <laughs> necessarily have been this um, this uh, outgoing. Well, not necessarily outgoing, but just. Less shy. We'll be more shy. We'll just yeah. say that. So, but it's been an all, all your honors are deserved. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.